In this video we shall see how to print the .NET Manager heap using two WinDBG commands eheap-gc and heapstat. We have learned theoretically that .NET Manager heap has been parted into three heap regions generation 0, 1 and 2 and there is a special region to keep the large objects. We shall prove this theory concept we shall see these particular things are existing in a .NET Manager heap. For that, let's do a small dump analysis. I am opening a Windows debugger to load a dump. Open a dump. This is the dump of a .NET application. Now the dump has been loaded into the application. The first and foremost thing, I have to load a DLL. I am loading SOS.dll because this DLL contains all the .NET debugging commands to debug a .NET application using WinDBG. So this is the first step to do. Now we will print the command of our interest eheap-gc to print the manager heap information. The results got printed. So we can see generation 0, generation 1 and generation 2 information in this particular result. It starts at this location. We can also see the large object heap and the size of the large object heap. Most importantly, the user can get how much is the total size of the manager heap. This much, right? But from this particular command, we do not get how much is each generation heap size. For that, we can apply another command, heapstat. In this output, we can see the how much is the generational heap size. Generation 0 having this much, generation 1, 12 byte, 12 byte and LOH is having this much size. So with these two commands, a debugger can know the dot and manager heap snapshot and how much size each generation heap holds. So next time we will come up with another debugging commands and a demo. We request our users to visit this particular blog for getting the hands-on tutorials. The dump is also available in this particular blog and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.